Well, this is really interesting. Um, there's guards here, and go ahead and, and it's kind of on the on, turn around, on the water. Yeah, it's kind of on the water. This was the old uh, Rascom Estate, I think, and this is Pioneer Point. It's called, and uh, you know, guards everywhere. And this is, I guess, the 45 acres where the Russians were. And let me tell you something. <laughs> you, this reminds me of that Coen Brothers where they're walking on the, on the, on the, uh, the leaves, the last, where the guy's digging his own grave. Let me just, just turn down the left there, uh, task force, and show how remote this is. I would just like to say, <laughs> go, le go left, We're go left. We're taking it for here. a team here. Yeah. Go left and just look at, we are not, I mean, for a, this was a guy who, who Proceed to the route. this is the guy who built the Empire State Building, I think. Raskum is the guy who built the Empire State Building. He got into a contest with Chrysler, building the Chrysler Building. And then he was able to build it in 11 months or whatever that was. And he starts GM and, or he consolidated GM. And then he started GMAC Finance. And, but I mean, it, it really does have that, now it seems nice now, but the, the other road that we came down was was weird. And man, we came close to that gate, and that guard was out. All they were they were just ready to come out. You know, they were just ready. Um, so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a Google Earth worth uh, for the fans out there who love to use Google Earth. You have you are on. Yeah, you, you've really hit pay dirt uh, for, for the Google folks. Now, I mean, I'm going to, I guess, turn this around and just say, um, for all those people who, um, I mean, if it was me, let's say I was Secretary of State and I wanted to raise as much money as I could in the eight years I was Secretary of State to become president. Now, I don't know if anybody's ever been in that position before, but here's what I would do. I would have a place like this, you know, not too far from the Navy. I could bring the kids in, bring the wives in, bring the truckers in. And really, literally, I mean, what I would do is I would, if I was doing rat lines, I mean, see, the roads aren't so great here. This is not like uh, I would, flat tire where it's I, over. I would take a place this like this that's so out of the way. And I would say it's a Russian retreat. I would say it's Russian sovereign land. but. It, but it really isn't. It, I think it's owned by the United States or it's owned by GSA. Tim Horn, Tim Horn at GSA. Can you tell us? Tim Horn, Tim Horn also uh, that we talked about this morning ends up having to deal with the old post office, maybe to Jared Kushner or his wife, who is Ivanka. You go out here and then go out there and then turn right, uh, left, go out there and then turn right. Uh, so um, yeah, no, left, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, and this is kind of like the control point where we're at right now. But anyway, if I was doing Arrive it, at Pioneer Point Lane. I would, I would involve, at, uh, I would involve everyone in the conspiracy. I would make sure Putin was getting a little bit of money for the, for the kids coming over. And I'm not just saying the uranium kind of is the calling card or the, the national security reason why you could do all this. And let's say you had a bunch of oligarchs that you, that you were involved in, let's say, Oh, like the Joe Rago thing with the pharmaceutical company and you were bringing in these pharmaceuticals and, and selling them to the Navy and selling them to the Army. Okay, just just to take the, the, the example there where, you know, we know they've been hacked. We know Fort Belvoir DLA was hacked for the last two months for the contractors. So, you know, it's it's a it's a reasonable suspicion. But you could say, look, these guys want to bring the money in. The Manafort's lawyers basically said, hey, this would be the first person to get written up on the Logan Act for bringing money into the United States. I'm about ready to go into Trey Gowdy, <laughs> but I'm going to try to keep away from it. They're bringing the money in. They're bringing it in. Now, how could you, how could you have a problem with that? They're bringing it in. They're bringing people in. All right, <laughs> people. Okay, so what I'm saying is, uh, you'd say, okay, we're going to bring the money into a lot of the money. And if I was Secretary of State, I'd say, hold it. Wait a minute. We got this EB-5. Hold it. We got EB-5. We got EB-5. You know, for every half million dollars, we can have a person come in on an EB-5. Right? So that's 500000 Well, okay, Putin, you're going to get 10000 ahead. 
I bring in a Uzbeki trucker to do my trucking, all my rat lines, whatever that may be, and they're compromised. So if I can get rid of them. If I am doing drugs, I am doing weapons one way, drugs in the other, I can get rid of them. I can bring in my Natalia Sova. Basically, if you can live in a compound like that, this reminded me so much of Sailorsburg, yeah. where the, they actually have a home for wayward girls at Sailorsburg. So the girl wakes up, she's you know a little baby, she's five years old, she's gonna live at Sailorsburg. So, uh, and this, this just, man, this smack of Sailorsburg. School, little private school. The little private school and the whole thing. I mean, this is her, uh, you know, task force's specialty is all the, the trafficking of women and, and from the law enforcement point of view, undercover operations and the kids and all that. Whereas I'm coming at it more from the spy ring and the uranium kind of uh, pay to play arms, weapons one way, drugs in the other. But it's kind of fusing together. Yeah. The, the, the rat lines are fusing together. It's a very disgusting. Saying, why would you, why would you just throw away your chance to make $500,000? You know, if, yeah, this way, you know, AB5, you know, <laughs> so, um, so that's what I think is going on here is that the truckers come, the, the, the oligarch is bringing the money in, uh, and that's going to be like a Gubarov, okay? They're going to be investing in some companies over there, like the Pr Prisma and different things. But most of the money comes in through real estate. So you're going to do EB-5s in Miami for the, you know, that was a huge part of the investment there. LA was another one. New Jersey. New Jersey is going to be one of them, bringing in all the Chinese in New Jersey. And that's going to be, um, I think that's going to be Jared Kushner. Uh, and then, and then obviously with Virginia, uh, you know, projects down there on the waterfront down in, in I, I think a lot of those are EB-5. So you can, you can bring four in, you can bring four, four in with EB-5, you know? So for, I mean, if you invest $2 million, you bring four people in, right? Uh, and you're bringing the whole family in. Why would you want to separate that? These guys are not investing two, three million dollars. They're investing like 50, 60, 70 million dollars. So I could use this place basically, the place we were just at is kind of like an Ellis Island. Bring them in, process them, teach them in some English, you know, well, push. Then you have chain migration, right? So you yeah, then you, you bring in 23. Keep bringing them in. That's exactly what, keep bringing them in. <laughs> yeah, the, there's no stopping it. There's no stopping it. Sorry, uh, just after you listen to Trey Gotti for a while. But yeah, just keep bringing them in. <laughs> so uh, that I think is what's happening is it's a little Ellis Island and this Saipov is a great example Trump hit it on the head with the chain migration yeah. just keep bringing them in 